Yeah, the snow's coming down pretty good now. I didn't think it was gonna like snow this bad. Okay, I'm drifting. Literally, these rocks are straight ice. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's a big one. Yeah, the snow's coming down pretty good now. I didn't think it was gonna like snow this bad. Okay, I'm drifting. I should probably focus on the road. I made it, that's all we needed to be. Once we got here, we'd be good to go. It's super calm, looks beautiful. It honestly feels like a great day to catch some big old fish. Well, literally half the dang bay is frozen and I honestly have zero idea how this is frozen, but not my local lake. This is literally Lake Huron. Um, makes complete sense. That's, that's, that's okay. We're, got snagged, first cast, okay. Okay, we're good. I thought I had one and I was about to lose my mind. I'm not gonna lie. Literally all we need is one fish and that will make the entire day worth it. And I have all day, so we're golden. Literally not even within 10 minutes of being here, I walk further down the pier and this guy has already hooked up on the fish that I wanted to catch. Well, as you can see, someone just caught one. So that's a good sign that they're here. Anyways, we're gonna just be rolling around this lipless crank right here. Now, after a good bit of fishing with that lipless crankbait, I decided to switch things up and tie on this spoon right here. And sure enough, within the first few casts. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's a big one. No, game off. No. Yeah, literally bit it right next to the rock. I saw him. That was a big one. No! Oh man, that was a giant. Yeah. I still caught him on it. <laughs> Holy crap, that was a big one. Um, this might be stupid, but... Oh, that's pure ice. This is definitely stupid. But I'm stupid, so... I'm stupid, but I got a dream. And that is to catch a laker. <laughs> So we're doing it anyways. Literally these rocks are straight ice. But I wanna get out there to cast. Okay. You know what they say. They don't say anything. I'm just stupid. But I'm thinking right off this point might be a good spot. This ice is just shifting through like it's the ocean with icebergs and stuff. I don't even know what's going on. The Great Lakes are just something else. That's all I gotta say. Really mad that I lost that one fish, but you know, you live, you learn, you move on. And I ain't leaving here till I catch one now. Now that I hooked one, I'm landing one of these dumb things. Yeah, blow that ice out, dude. We don't want it in here. Oh my gosh, there's a fish. There's a laker. Laker. Oh my gosh, that's a good one. Oh my gosh, come here. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. All right, please stay on this time, buddy. Oh my gosh. Oh. Okay. Oh my gosh, guys. He looks to be pinned pretty good. I don't think he's gonna come out. I appreciate that. I, I would might die with my short net. You got a fish up? Yep. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> Let's go, guys. Woo. A lot of what, my players? That's my first ever lake chart out here. Drove out two and a half hours through a blizzard this morning to get out here to hook this fish and land them, guys. That just like means absolutely everything. Totally worth the drive. And such a beautiful, beautiful fish. Can't believe I actually got it, guys. Woo! I can't even believe it right now, guys. I am so in shock of actually landing one of those fish. That was absolutely insane. Pure madness out here. Literally, there's icebergs float. I don't even know what's going on. Last minute trip, but it always pays off. It always does when everything's like last minute and just send it. It just works out, at least for me. 
Okay, now the other side, the ice floated out and it's going around the other way. So I'm gonna fish on this side, see what happens. Just jigging a lipless crank. The other one came on the Clio, so I guess they're just fighting whatever. You just gotta like shift around where you fish depending on where the ice is. And there's a little mink over here, so I'm... keep seeing them swimming up. Got the lunch of a champion today. Two peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. What else do you need in life? Lake trout and PD and J's. Well, lunch is over, back out here. The ice is pretty much covering absolutely everything right now. So it's making it very difficult to fish, but we're gonna keep on cranking. At least I got to catch one. Just sitting down, jigging for lake or Zay. Don't get much better than this. Well, at this point, the wind started to pick up, which helped push the ice away, but made it a lot more cold. All right, made it back. The ride back was a lot better. All the roads were plowed, plowed, plowed. What the heck is plowed? Plowed, I don't even know what I just said. Anyways, I wanna give you guys a little update on the fish tank here. Haven't done this in quite a minute, and I got some new fish. I got two of these little honey grommies. Look at how adorable this little dude is. Where'd he go? I, I lost him. Squirt, Squirt's actually growing. He's a beast right now. Where is he? Oh, there he is. There's one of the little honey grommies. There's the other little honey grommy. And then I got six Cardinal Tetras right there. Those guys, they look super cool. Their colors are absolutely popping. It just gives a lot better color and vibe to this tank. So I absolutely love these fish. But I'm gonna need your help naming these two Honey Grammys and six Cardinal Tetras. So please comment down below eight names, preferably in a separate comment for no particular reason at all, but like just separate comments just makes it easier for me to read. Anyways, this was about the last day that I could have possibly went out and did this because it's gonna freeze starting tomorrow. I'm gonna show you guys the weather forecast for the next few days here. Okay, so the low starting January 13th, which is Saturday, 10, then Sunday is 2, 3, 1, 11. So it's gonna be absolutely frigid in the single digits at night, and literally it's gonna be maybe 10 degrees in the day for three days straight. So that's gonna lock up this ice. So the next video you see will be ice fishing because I can guarantee you that by early next week, I'm gonna be ice fishing. So stay tuned for some ice vids. And as always folks, fish with passion. Well, it's actually Monday and the weather was a lot colder than I had mentioned in this video. It was actually negative five this morning and there is literally already four inches of ice on this little pond and there's three inches on the lake. So I'm going ice fishing tomorrow because it's supposed to be negative four tonight. So that's going to lock it up. So stay tuned for later this week, ice fishing video. Uh, that's all I had to say, a little update on how everything's going right now. I'm out of breath. It's like five degrees, but I'm living for it. I love it and catch you guys on the ice in the next video. See ya. Uh -oh. Can somebody come and save me? I just wanna know.